Graphic, the CSDB logo, Excellence in Service, Colorado School for the Deaf and the Blind, established 1874. Title, Learning from Adult Role Models Who Are Blind or Visually Impaired. Woman Seated in an Athletic Training Center. Title, Marissa. Part 2. My name is Marissa, and I was diagnosed at the age of three with an eye disease called retinitis pigmentosa, or RP for short. Title, Work Challenges. When I went into the workplace, it was challenging. I had some employers who were amazing, and not even for a second did they think I couldn't do something because I'm visually impaired. Um, but I've also had a lot of discrimination in the field too, and that is really challenging. I think that's the hardest and the saddest part about everything. Currently, I'm working in Colorado Springs, at a church. I love it. It is so much fun. I work with all ages and I really love that. So either I want to do that full time or I want to be a hospital chaplain. It's very exciting to be able to work in the emergency room and in the ICU and all the different places in a hospital. You never know what you're going to get, what you're going to see, um, and you meet just wonderful people. And there's something really wonderful about being with a person and walking with a person. Um, when they're just going through such a struggle. Title, Sports for Blind VI. At the age of 14, I was introduced to a sport called Judo, which is very similar to wrestling. It's a Japanese martial art. Um, I was introduced at a sports camp for the blind. I grew up being told that because I'm visually impaired, I can't play sports. Um, my parents told me that, my gym teachers told me that, and it wasn't because they were being mean, it was because they really were not educated. They had no idea that it was possible for me to do sports. They had no idea that there were also certain sports out there for the visually impaired either. Um, so I attended this camp starting at the age of 14 and it changed my life. It, to it opened up so many doors for me. Um, I now knew I could do sports. At this camp, we did swimming and track and field and um, we did a sport called goalball, which is specifically made for the blind and visually impaired. Video clip of students playing goalball. Um, we did judo and wrestling and all these different sports that I could even do in my high school. Fortunately, I did judo at the camp every year for the next four years, um, just for one week out of the summer. Um, and I ran track in high school. And when I got to college, judo was offered as a wellness credit. Two photographs. Marissa wearing a judo gi flipping a man over her back. Marissa bringing a judo opponent down to the mat at an outdoor event. And I took it and I just fell in love with it. I started to compete after the semester class was over and I really loved the competition side of judo. Um, it was just very exciting and very rough and tough, which was really different from anything I had done before. Um, and when I got to grad school, I was still training in judo and I met another visually impaired judoka. A judoka is someone who does judo. Um, his name is Adnan Gudic, and he was at the club that I started to train at in St. Louis. And he told me about the U.S. team, and he said, hey, you're going to go to nationals. It's the world qualifier. You're going to qualify for worlds, and you're going to go. And I thought, there is no way. But sure enough, I trained really hard, and I went to nationals. I qualified for worlds, and in 2014, I joined Team USA for judo. Um, so uh, since then, I've been trying to make it to the Paralympics. I was four people away from making it to the Paralympics in Rio 2016. So I moved to the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs to try and make it to the Paralympics in 2020 um, in Tokyo, Japan. Marissa walking outdoors around Olympic Training Center with her dog guide. Marissa walking through the Olympic Training Center gym with her dog guide. So I currently live at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. On campus, I train in judo. I do weightlifting and cardio every day. So it's a lot of hard work. It's not always fun living at the OTC, um, but it is wonderful. We have a lot of resources. Um, we have sports psychology and sports med and a dietitian. I had an internship, internship in Chicago and it took me four hours on the bus. So here at the Olympic Training Center, it takes me all of four minutes to walk down anywhere I need to go. Um, so that is a huge thing because that's also another challenge about being visually impaired is kind of um, figuring out transportation and it's not always the quickest, it's not always the easiest. What I would love for people to understand about being blind or visually impaired is that just because they have a visual impairment does not mean they can't do what they set their mind to do. Um, I think, unfortunately, there's a lot of people in our world who still aren't aware of other people's differences, maybe, and aren't aware that there are things out there, such as assistive technology or even just training, that allows them to be as successful as everybody else. You know, I can't drive a car. 
but I can take an Uber or I can take a bus and I can get to where I need to go. Marissa riding a white horse. Marissa standing next to a horse with its nose against her face. Marissa standing in an arena with a cow and halter. I would love for people to understand that just because you're visually impaired doesn't mean you can't do things. Um, we have different ways of doing things, maybe on certain things, figuring out our own way, figuring out, um, you know, thinking outside the box. And maybe it looks a little differently how I do something from someone who's sighted, but I can still do it. And I, I would love for people to just trust in our abilities to, to do whatever we would love to do in life. Title, Learning from Adult Role Models Who Are Blind or Visually Impaired. Graphic, the CSDB logo, Excellence in Service, Colorado School for the Deaf and the Blind, established 1874. Learning, Thriving, Leading, 33 North Institute Street, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80903, 719-578-2100, www.csdb.org. This has been a production of CSDB Outreach Programs. Video production, Austin Belish, Deb Branch, Sean Levier, Captioning, Jim Olson, Audio description, Jamie Cusimano.